At Oxford University in England, Dr. Mark Fricker is one of a team of botanists and computer scientists studying a form of slime mold called Physarium polycephalum. For years, slime molds have fascinated scientists with their ability to navigate the quickest route through a maze to get at some food. But scientists started to wonder if the slime mold could do more than just perform clever tricks. Here, Mark is recreating an experiment he worked on with colleagues at Tokyo University. A blob of slime mold is surrounded with a pattern of oat flakes an irresistible treat for the slime mold. What happens next is recorded by a time-lapse camera. So the slime mold starts as this blob in the middle, and then it's going to spread out and colonize the whole of the dish, trying to find all of those oak flakes that we positioned earlier on. So connect each of those food resources, but some of those links will disappear, and some of them will be strengthened. What the slime mold has done is truly remarkable. The way we set out those oak flakes was not entirely random. The central blob is supposed to represent Tokyo, and if we positioned all of the oak flakes on the major cities around Tokyo, so what we're now looking at is not just the slime mold exploring a random distribution of oak flakes, it's actually trying to map out the region around Tokyo to see how the slime mold would connect all of those cities to compare against the way humans have connected it with their rail network. When you compare the local Tokyo rail system and the network that the slime mold has come up with, the two designs are remarkably similar. In just a few hours, the slime mold has done what skilled engineers took years to achieve. It has found the most efficient way to link together multiple locations every bit as effective as the well-organized Tokyo rail system. The slime mold doesn't have a brain or any way of calculating this, but has managed to produce a network with very similar properties.